Hey everybody, how's it going? I wanted to do a quick review of the BTFL Scarlet Pro Roller Skates. And it's not gonna be really an unboxing because I've already ridden or skated in these and they are awesome. So I just kind of wanted to go over some of the possible pros, some of the possible cons, and then you can make a decision on whether these are the right skates for you. So let's go ahead and get going. Uh, I ordered a US size 8, which is a European size 39, and they go off of the European sizes, but they do give you a size 8, or I'm sorry, a US sizing option. So measure your feet, and these ones ended up being perfect. So I recommend that you measure your feet. Please, please do that, or you will not like having to pay shipping back and a restocking fee for uh, sending them back. So that's very important. And I was very nervous ordering skates off the internet because we don't have any skate shops around here to try anything on to see if they would fit. So I was kind of stuck going, okay, what do I do? Do I order these and take the chance and then have to pay the money to ship them back? All that good stuff. So anyway, let's get down to it. Um, here's the box, as you can see. Nothing exciting, just a box with skates. Inside you're gonna find a skate tool. They've started including these now, which is awesome. You've got your wrench, you got a couple of nut, I don't know what you call them, nut wrenches? I don't know. So I'm gonna put that aside and I already have my toe guards on, so you can ignore that, but this is what the skate looks like. And it looks a little droopy right here because I've already skated in them a couple of times and I formed the ankle crease already but this is exactly what they look like out of the box. Let me see if I can flip it around. Yeah, you still see the, the little creases right here. But the reason for those creases is because this skate doesn't give a ton of ankle support. So if you're looking for a lot of ankle support, this is not the skate for you. For me, I actually love it because it helps me do maneuvers and different little skating tricks. Uh, a much easier rather than having a really stiff boot that limits your ankle movement. So something to keep in mind if you need ankle support. So I upgraded to these from the Moxie Rainbow Riders and the Moxie Rainbow Riders were good skates to start out with. Um, but for me, they were a little too stiff. I skated in them for a good amount of time and they just never uh, loosened up a bit. And I had to um, change out the bearings, the bushings, all of that stuff on them because they just put the lower end quality stuff on the Rainbow Riders. And I had a hard time turning. I had a hard time doing crossovers. I had a hard time doing a lot of different things in the Rainbow Riders. So I decided to upgrade. And the Rainbow Riders that came were a little too big for me and I didn't want to have to send them, go through the hassle of sending them back. So I sold them on Facebook Marketplace and actually made the same money back that I paid on them. So. Anyway, back to um, these skates. When you first get these, you're gonna want to adjust your wheels by adjusting them right here, okay? Because if you don't, you're gonna have some skates that don't spin correctly. When I took these out, they didn't spin correctly. You can see they're spinning pretty, pretty good right now. So you're gonna have to adjust. Oh my gosh, I told you the wrong thing. You're not gonna adjust your wheels right here. You're gonna adjust your wheels right here. And then you're gonna adjust your trucks right here. I get all the, the terminology mixed up. So anyway, be sure to do that because there was another review on YouTube where somebody didn't do that and they didn't like how they skated. They didn't like um, that the wheels felt stuck or something like that. And I don't know if they just didn't know that you're gonna have to adjust things when you first take them out. You're gonna have to adjust your toe stop too. Some people like them higher, some people like them lower. It just depends on what kind of skating you're going to do. And this is supposedly a destructible, an indestructible uh, uh, plate. It's made out of, I'm not sure what it's made out of, some kind of really hard indestructible material is what they claim. So, and then the cushions, in my opinion, are a little bit too, a little bit too hard. So for me, I like a little bit more cushiness in my cushion, so I'm gonna swap those out. I ordered some more on Amazon. So those are some things to think about. Oh, I'm gonna talk about this retails for, these retail for 189. I paid 172 and 
I ordered directly from the BTFL website and they came in three days. And it helps that I live in a neighboring state from where they where they are. I, these came from Colorado, I think Denver, but it was awesome that they came in three days. I was so, so excited, but let me go over the little aesthetics on the skate. So you can see here, there's a cute little pattern right here. There's like a little, I don't even know what you call this little loop. And I'm not sure what it really is for, I guess you could put a skate leash through it or something like that. And there's a cute little heart right there. I don't know if you can see that. And everything seems well made. I mean, I saw another review where somebody was showing these off and it looked like they weren't glued properly because these are glued, they're not stitched. But, <coughs> excuse me, I've gone through my boots on these skates and there isn't anything to indicate that they weren't made very well. So mine seem to be perfect out of the box. So this review is based on that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the wheels is I'm not sure. I think the durometer on them is 81 or 82A. Can't remember exactly what the durometer is on them, but they're, they're softer wheels. So you're supposed to be able to skate on these better outside than indoors. If you try to skate indoors with these, they might feel like you're skating through mud or that kind of thing. Um, that's been my experience anyway when I try to use outdoor wheels indoor. And so I have found so far that these wheels are good to use on tennis courts. They flow nicely, they stick nicely, there's enough gummy in them to kind of grip the tennis court really well. The place I didn't really care for them as much is on concrete. Uh, skating on a concrete basketball court was a little bit tricky um, for me. I mean, not tricky. It, I was still able to do some good, decent skating, but um, I felt like I was pushing harder. Like I had to skate harder in order to roll the way I needed. And that's fine if you're doing, you know, a short skate session, but if you're going to do a longer one, you probably want to do, or you want, might want to change out the wheels to something a little bit more to your liking if you're going to skate on concrete and that can be subjective so I'm not going to really give any suggestions on that. Oh one thing I need to mention is these have no break-in period. When you put these on they are awesome. They feel soft, they feel comfortable, they feel cushy. The only thing that I would say that I would change out and I've already done it are the insoles because they have zero padding. I don't know who put those insoles in or who made the decision to put those types of insoles in, but they're, they're okay to start, but I would definitely suggest uh, to put in your own cushioned insoles and mine, because I'm old, <laughs> have arch support because skates have zero arch support. So if you're older like me, or if you're an old lady like me, or an old man, uh, you want to change those out to arch support so that you don't end up in pain at the end of the, your, your skate sessions. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these are made out of genuine suede. These are not a vegan option. So if you're vegan, you probably don't want these skates, but they've got gold eyelets. They are just beautiful. I think they're gorgeous. The only thing I'm worried about is this light blue color. All the skates on the BTFL website that are available right now are these pastel colors, which are gorgeous, but they, are very light and I'm worried about them getting dirty. So I may just end up dyeing them eventually once they get a little bit dirtier and I can't clean them up. So, so I'm gonna go over some of the things that I'm gonna change out on this skate um, because in my opinion, they're beautiful, but they need a little bit of dressing up. I don't like the laces that came with this, but laces are an inexpensive purchase. So you're not gonna break the bank by buying some new laces. These are not waxed, they're, they're kind of like, they're not flat laces, they're, I don't know what you call them, circular laces, and they don't tighten up the way I need them to, and they don't really stay as well, but they're okay to start with, but you might wanna change those up. I'm gonna change them up to some really cute metallic ones, and I'm waiting for those to arrive from Amazon. Everything is taking forever to arrive from Amazon right now. One other thing I'm going to um, replace too are the cushions, because those are a little bit um, hard for me. I need the, I like the little, the cushier cushions and those are not a horrible upgrade either. You can get some nice ones for about $15, $20. The toe stop, I want to change out the toe stop. I mean, this is okay and it works well enough, <laughs> well enough. Um, 
but I want something that's going to jazz up the skate a little bit more. And this is a little bit tiny for me, at least as far as a toe stop goes. So I'll probably be replacing that once my laces arrive. And once my little, um, I ordered some daisies that are going to go right here that go laced through. Um, so I'm going to just try to figure out what matches best once everything arrives and then order the toe stop and all that good stuff. Another thing that I would probably change, like I said, is the wheels. Um, I'm going to need a set of indoor wheels, of course, because these are outdoor, but I might want another set for when I'm skating on concrete, but I don't know. I'm cheap, so I may not up do that upgrade. Yeah, so I have, like I said, I've skated on these for a couple of um, skate sessions, and I absolutely love them. I had another, I watched another YouTube video where the person did not like that there wasn't any support in the ankle and I already kind of went over that um but she gave it a negative rating because of that which I don't know if I agree with because everything is subjective some people really really like that there's no ankle support some people don't so it's really up to you what you like and what you don't like as to whether this skate is right for you but as for me I love everything about this skate um I can see myself growing into this more. I'm still kind of a beginner, not total beginner, but not uh, somebody who knows exactly what they're doing either. I, I, I would say I'm more of a, an intermediate beginner. So these are perfect for me. I can see myself definitely growing into them without having to upgrade anytime soon. And one thing I did want to mention too is that I was trying to decide between these and the Moxie Lollies. The Moxie Lollies are $349 plus tax. And these were, like I said, $172. So there's a big price difference. And everybody said that these are comparable to the Lollies because they have most of the features of the Lollies. So I thought, well, I'm going to try them out. Why not? Because I really didn't have it in my budget. Actually, I should backtrack. My husband would have divorced me if I spent that much on some skates. I'm just joking, he probably wouldn't have, but he wouldn't have been very happy with me if I'd spent that much on skates. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I don't feel a need to upgrade to the lollies. Really, the only thing that I think is different, because I've looked at the lollies, is they don't have the M or the Moxie label on here. And if the Moxie label is really important to you, these probably won't be the skates for you. But I don't really care. I'm not into the name brand stuff. I just want a nice, comfortable skate that I'm going to love out of the box that I have to do minimal um, changing out of hardware and stuff like that. And that I'm really going to have fun in. And this is definitely the skate for me that, that does that. So I hope this review was helpful. I hope that I answered all your questions. So please feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions and enjoy some skating. Thank you. Talk to you later.